Burroughs Corporation electronic computer manufacturing plant in Pasadena, California. Here, the company produces central processors, memory systems, and certain peripheral units for B300 and B5500 data processing systems. Production facilities are now being readied for important additions to the Burroughs computer family, the B2500 and B3500 systems. These are high-performance systems designed for both business data processing and scientific computation. The new computers have been under development for more than three years. Logic and circuit designers, experts in problem language programming, systems analysts, management scientists, a combined task force of men made several contributions. Its master control program, an efficient, flexible, and fully proven automatic operating system, was adapted for use by the new computers. Logic design and performance goals were analyzed by the big system. Program engineers used it to simulate the B2500 and B3500 in the development of COBOL and FORTRAN compilers and related software. New designs were evolved for everything from power supplies and peripheral hardware to the microscopic integrated circuits that are the basic building blocks of the new processor. Just 10 years ago, this combination of vacuum tubes and resistors was required to perform the same functions as this more recently developed parallel plate package of solid state components. Today, similar logic can be contained in two tiny circuit chips whose transistors and diodes are grown in place under laboratory control. Mounted on comparatively large blocks for easier handling, a complete circuit occupies about one one-thousandth of a square inch. On the production line, new manufacturing techniques reflect the increasing sophistication of computer design. This machine automatically routes and attaches thousands of interweaving wires that make up the back planes of processors and peripheral units. A unique feature of the new computers is this compact system's memory. It acts as a direct extension of core memory. It can store up to four million characters of information. The system's memory stores data in magnetic form on a rapidly rotating disk. This is a precision device whose tolerances are measured in terms of a few microns. Every production step is checked electronically. In the fabrication of read-write heads for the disk file, the feminine touch still exceeds the ability of machinery. Copper threads, thinner than the strands of a spider's web, are wound and secured under powerful lenses. Final assembly of disk file units is carried out in a controlled atmosphere where even the contamination threatened by a wisp of cigarette smoke is not permitted. In this disk file system, the disk itself is the only moving element. Completed assemblies are permanently sealed in vacuum chambers. In the engineering laboratories at Pasadena, the first of the new central processors, core memory and hybrid circuit memory modules, and input-output control modules are being assembled and tested. The entire project, covering every aspect of hardware and software design, fabrication and testing, is being carried out on a critical path method development plan. The project is on target and on time. Very soon, a fully operational prototype system will have been completed. This will be followed by additional months of hardware and software testing and integration of the new systems into the production flow. It seems certain that the next decade will witness more intensive use of computers in already familiar applications and the extension of computer techniques to many new problem areas. Demands placed on computer systems can be expected to rise to record levels. 
In terms of productivity and responsiveness to rapidly changing needs, these new computers from Burroughs will be the pace-setting systems for 1967 and the exciting years beyond.